What's up, people? It's your man, Black Cobra, back once again with your gadgets and your gear. Today, we got a new helmet we're going to talk about, the Scorpion EXO AT950. We're going to open it up and check it out. Let's go. All right, so let's start by raising you up a little bit there. There we go. All right, so I got a confession to make. I recorded this entire thing once already, opened the helmet, even made a modification to it, and the audio got corrupted. Oh, no. So I'm redoing it. The helmet does not look the way it looked when it came out of the box. Let me give you a quick sneak peek right here. This was the first opening of this helmet and what it looked like coming out of the box. We have the peak, uh, the visor, the clear visor. I'm zipping through it real quick and I'm gonna give you an opportunity to see what it looks like now. Uh, I also purchased a mirrored silver visor and I already put that visor on the helmet and made an adjustment and actually took off the brim. I'll even show you that in a little fast forward later on. But for right now, I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you what it looks like. And this is what it's ultimately gonna look like while I'm riding with it. Let's get into it, let's go. All right, so very quickly, the packet and here's the visor that I took off already. And here is the clear windscreen that it came with. And here's the puppy now. All right. Let's get rid of that. All right, so I'm just gonna <laughs> whip it out, seeing as I've already made the changes to it. Um, I was very upset when I started to edit the video and realized that all of the audio was staticky and it, it just, you could barely hear it. Uh, it sounded like a wire was loose, not happy. At any rate, this is the puppy and what it looks like now. This is after removing the visor. When it came, it came like this with the visor attached. I removed the visor and this is the way I am going to rock the helmet myself right now, unless at some point I decide that I want to go ahead and put the visor back on. So what I was talking about previously is how I love the look of this helmet. You guys remember in a previous video, I'll show that right here. You can see that I was rocking the Steelbird 2. I was in love with that helmet because it's all full face mirrored in the front. It's very light and I love that helmet. However, someone pointed out to me and I started to realize that the chin on it was not well suited to me. And what I, what I mean by not well suited to me, it didn't fit me the way it was supposed to. I didn't really notice just how bad it fit me until I started rocking a different helmet. When I started wearing the Demon Podium helmet, which has a, uh, a longer jaw, I realized that when I put the Steelbird back on, it was way too close and too tight on my jaw. It came up to where my chin kind of protruded below it whenever the helmet moved. Just it wasn't gonna be a good thing if I ever did get a good crash in that helmet. So I decided uh, that that wasn't gonna be the helmet that I kept. Um, so that helmet has moved on. You'll see who has that one soon. And this is going to be my new helmet, but I love that mirrored look. So this is what I went with. I grabbed the mirrored silver visor and edited this helmet a little bit. And you can see it's got a nice wide um, front, not as big as the Steelbird, but a huge, huge opening. You'll see in this helmet that you can see from one corner all the way to the next. The cutout for the vision is incredible in this helmet. So I really like how good you can see in it. And as you know, it's a modular helmet. So it does do the flip up and it'll lock in place up top here and it'll allow me to get a lot of breathing room in there. Um, it's sort of like taking the helmet off without taking the helmet off. Uh, I love the fact that I can do that and then lock it right back in place. 
Some of the people that have a lot to do with safety standards are concerned about modular helmets because a lot of them have the mechanism to open it on the outside. And if you crash and hit that, they're worried that you will engage that mechanism in the the um, front part of the helmet will go up it will not protect your chin that's why i like the way this is designed if you look here it's inside so there's no way for you to hit that on an impact so it's inside you have to grab it pull it pull it down in order to disengage the lock and open the helmet so i like the mechanism that they use to uh open the helmet uh this has a large vent right here at the top and the way the vent is positioned if i were to put the visor back on when i had the visor on you could see that the visor sat wide enough away from the helmet that the airflow was able to go right in to the air vent it sort of funneled into the air vent and i like the design of that so the airflow funnels into the large vent in the front and then it flows out through the exhaust vent in the back it's great that it has a, a big exhaust vent and that inside the helmet um, you can, as a matter of fact, let me go all in and open it all the way up. Inside the helmet, you can see the way that they have the skull cover or the skull cap here, the cranial cap. It has a lot of holes and vents um, and it's set so that the airflow will come in, go across your head and go out the back. And then if you need more air, I mean, you open the modular helmet all the way up and there's no big, bigger vent than that unless you take the helmet right off. So I like that. Now, other than that, they do have the front vent here that has three positions. So all the way open in the middle and then all the way closed, which I like a lot. And then you saw how, how high the visor itself opens up. So it gives you, what I like though, if you can, you can see here, see how far the cutouts are for the field of view it comes all the way over to the side it doesn't stop here because some of the helmets that you get they stop here and, and, and they impede your view this one the cut the cutouts go all the way to the side so they give you a pretty wide field of view um, i looked at quite a few reviews on this helmet and uh, some of the things that they they didn't like was they wanted more vents because in some of the other helmets they have the multiple vents on the side and they go through as well um, so that's one thing that they were saying that, and I'll have to experience this for myself because not all reviews or not all reviewers are the same. So I'll see how it, it works for me. Um, I got a double X in this helmet because the way that the steel bird was a little short, I wanted to go a little bit bigger, even though this is a different helmet and I don't know how it fit. I wanted to go a little bit bigger just to make sure because I have a long head, my chin and jaw come out a little bit and uh, my peanut head up top. So I just wanted to make sure that this fit the way that it should. Let's give it a fit test and see how it fits on the dome. Here we go. Oh yeah, love it. One of the things I wish it had was a quick release buckle. I do wish it had a quick release buckle. Um, that's one thing that I wish it had because I had it on one of my previous helmets and I really liked it. So um, I could, I guess I'll snap it all the way up. There you go, you can see how it fits. And then, oh yes. What's crazy is how much room I have between my chin. I'm not sure how good you can hear me there. <clears throat> what I love about this is how much room I have between my, my jaw or my chin and the front of the helmet. Like I said, the steel bird was touching the front of my jaw and it didn't, it wasn't a great feeling. The demon podium has more room and this is the same way. It has a bigger chin uh, area. So um, I like, comes well below my chin. I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I'm loving the way that this is fitting and it does feel uh, very secure. Um, the, it doesn't feel so tight that it's gonna give me a headache. I don't feel any pressure points uh, right now. Um, all I feel is the cushion in the helmet. Um, 
It does have the nice cheek pads. You can see that my cheek well, my cheek is being pushed up slightly by the cheek pads, but it's not enough where it's uncomfortable. And I'm sure that that's going to wear down a little bit and be even uh, looser over time. Um, I like the fact that it has the interior antimicrobial um, lining so that it will catch all of the, the microorganisms and then I can take it out and wash it and I won't have to worry about all the gunk from the sweat and stuff coming off of this head while I'm in this helmet. <laughs> I do like that when I close it down, it feels really secure. I wasn't sure if you could even hear me that well, uh, simply because it, it, it does feel like I'm in a chamber. It has the secure feeling that you're looking for and I definitely like the way that it feels right now. Again, I haven't ridden with it. I've only had it on uh, briefly. I will tell you that this is definitely heavier than the Steelbird. Uh, it has a little more weight to it. I, be I believe it's like 3.7 pounds, um, where the Steelbird I think was only like two, two pounds or something like that. I'm not, not sure, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, I'll go over some of the specs of the helmet real quick. The Scorpion EXO AT950 modular helmet is sporting a polycarbonate shell, dual venting, a wide visibility range, drop down sun visor, moisture wicking antimicrobial liner. It's DOT approved along with the removable visor and the pre made cutouts to add a communication system to this well rounded helmet. So there you have it. This is the Scorpion XO AT950 Modular Adventure Helmet. I'm loving this thing right now, but of course it's right out the box. I will get back to you in a future video and let you know how I'm loving it later on. But I can tell you right now, I'm glad I made the switch. I'm comfortable with the switch that I made. This seems like it's going to definitely do the job uh, as I wanted it to. It definitely has the look that I was looking for. Uh, so I'm happy right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I make new ones. If you too are an electric vehicle rider, let me know. Hit me in the comments down below. If you're a motorcycle rider and you got this helmet, let me know how you like it, how long you had it. I know this helmet is not new. It's been out for a few years now. I'm just glad that I was introduced to it now. And Marty, the godfather of EUC, thank you, buddy. He talked me into it when I was on the fence. I hope I made the right decision for a long lasting relationship with my new helmet. <laughs> I hope you guys got everything you wanted in this holiday season. I hope you're having a happy new year. I hope that you got all the gadgets and gear that you wanted to. And as always, ride hard and keep it wheel. Peace.